were thinking in that 10 second silence? How did you feel? How long haven't you been in this kind of silence? No one talk, only your breath. Nowadays, people are trapped in a big cage and there are so many sounds in it. The hustle and bustle of the city, people's gossip, and the notification sounds when the messages pop up. Our space and time are occupied by all kinds of things, but we forget to keep a space for ourselves. We forget the sound of silence. It can be the rustle of cloth, your heartbeats, and most important, our inner voice. This sound can be heard when we are alone, quietly. These are the sounds of silence. There were two experiences that I heard the sound of silence. First was at midnight. I was in a bad mood two months ago because I had some difficulties with studying. One Friday night, I went home, walking through the courtyard of my community. The whole world seemed to fall asleep. I looked up the sky and saw so many sparkling stars. Suddenly, a voice flashed into my mind. Lie down. This was what I always wanted to do in the past, but I hadn't done it because it may be awkward. But this time, I walked to the middle of the courtyard and lay down right away. I was filled with emotion. I took a deep breath. And just started to cry. All the anxiety and worries in those days were relieved through the tears. I heard myself sobbing. And I could almost hear the sound of the sparkling stars. But then I realized that it was the footsteps of the security guard. They thought I was drunk and wanted to stop me by doing crazy things. But maybe I was really drunk, even though I didn't drink. Because solitude was a petty wine that intoxicated me with freedom. When I was alone, I felt free and secured. It was okay to be weak, and I could just be myself. I didn't need to care about others. So this was my first experience of hearing the sound of silence. Second was the moment when I was doing my favorite thing, drawing. Last semester, I was worried about whether I should keep drawing or not because I was buried with so many things. But I knew when I was drawing alone in my room, I felt calm and peaceful. I would be totally absorbed in the colors and lines. And when I sat in front of my desk, picked up my pen, I left all the anxiety behind. The rustle of the paper and pencil just cooled down my mind. There was a clear voice in my brain. I love drawing. I really love drawing. At this special moment, I faced a real me. My inner voice reminded me that I wanted to draw for my life. No matter what life becomes, I won't put down my pen. And at this moment, I was in my quiet little room, but I felt that the space was as big as the universe. This was the power of solitude, the power of silence. From these two experiences, I realized the importance of solitude, silence, and privacy. They're full of human power, and we need to let our mind rest. So, on a private time, at that moment, be yourself. Talk to yourself, and you'll know what you really want. Embrace solitude. Clean up the dust in your mind and let the sunshine in. So, on a private time, talk to yourself, embrace solitude.
and you'll hear the music in your heart, the sound of silence. Bienvenido. 